Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. In this video, I'll be taking a look at some viral TikTok DIYs and seeing if they're completely fake or if there's actually a way to get them to work. The first one is a video where someone claimed that you can turn a bouncy ball into a squishy by leaving it in water for two days. I've actually made a TikTok clip debunking this a while ago, but I was surprised at how many responses it got. There were loads of replies saying that it should have been hot water, that the cup needs to be in sunlight, or that I used the wrong type of bouncy ball. So in this video, I'm going to test out all those other options in order to get a final answer. The second DIY is a method for making plastic jewelry using hair straighteners. I saw a video claiming that you don't even have to protect the straighteners using baking paper and you can melt the beads directly onto the heating plate. Needless to say, this one sounds very risky and I decided to test it out so nobody else has to. The last DIY is making a frozen slime using dish soap, mouthwash and salt. This recipe is actually pretty old, but it keeps resurfacing and going viral every couple of years, so I'm going to try it out here and give you guys the definite answer. If you enjoy this type of problem-solving content, then I think you'll love the game Ava's Manor, and a big thanks to Ava's Manor for sponsoring this video. The game follows mystery writer Ava Mendez, whose life turns upside down when a long-lost relative disappears and leaves her with an abandoned manor. By playing fun levels of solitaire tri-peaks, you can unlock secrets of the manor and restore the house to glory before it's set for demolition. I used to play solitaire all the time on computer and I was very surprised at how quickly I still remember the rules. The goal is to remove all the cards on the table by matching them with a the number directly above or below the one on the bottom. The game is very good at helping you along and it feels so satisfying each time you clear the whole deck. Ava's Manor is a very relaxing way to wind down after a stressful day while training your brain with puzzles that are challenging but not overwhelming. It's also great for taking small breaks throughout the day because the levels are short and self-contained. The story side lets you have fun with creative DIY ideas and you can feel very proud of all the progress you've made. I love interior design games and here you get to choose from tons of furniture and garden options to create your own unique space. Ava's Manor is free to download using my link below, so be sure to check it out. And now let's get started with the first DIY. These are hard bouncy balls made from rubber, which I used in my first TikTok experiment. Many viewers said that I should also try the other type of DIY bouncy balls, so I found a kit for making those as well. These colorful chips are made from PVA, which is a type of water-soluble polymer. It's the exact same thing you can find inside glue or peel-off face masks that enables you to make slime. This was a really easy kit to put together. You simply fill the mold with three packs of PVA and then dip it inside lukewarm water. Keep it in the cup for two minutes and then take it out and let it drip dry for five minutes. Then you have to remove the bouncy ball from the mold and let it dry completely, which can take a few hours. By the way, while I was unboxing this, I thought that the cup looked suspiciously like a specimen cup from the hospital. Then I zoomed a bit closer and realized that this actually is a hospital cup, because you can even see the space where you have to write your name and the date. I feel this kit is a bit overpriced for what is essentially a few bags of PVA and two molds. The DIY however worked well and I made these two bouncy balls without any problems. For the next part, I'm going to use room temperature water and boiling water. Obviously, the hot water is going to cool down after a while, however, it might make a small difference. I placed all of them onto a sunny windowsill and waited for two days. As you can see, the first kind of bouncy ball didn't react at all, which wasn't a big surprise. This is made from rubber, and rubber is obviously not going to dissolve in water no matter how long you leave it inside, or what the temperature is. I know some people might be thinking, what about that squishy ball you showed in the intro of the video? I'm afraid the simple answer is that it was just a fake. I molded the bouncy ball using silicone putty, and I poured Sophie and Toffee's squishy gel inside. The hardest part was matching the color, and I ended up having to use some water-based acrylic paint, which I didn't expect to work, but it actually did. Unfortunately, the ball didn't come out as smooth as I'd hoped, but the final effect was still pretty good. 
I did this to show that many of these so-called viral hacks are easily faked. People can simply switch out items or not show you part of the process. But what about the two PVA bouncy balls? I was pretty curious about this as well because PVA does react with water. As you can see here, the outer layer looks fuzzy and almost jelly-like. I can push it around with my finger, however the inside of the ball is still very much solid. This is definitely not a squishy, but more like a sticky layer of jelly around a hard ball. I'm pretty sure that you can make slime with this because it feels exactly like clear PVA glue. The ball that I put in boiling water has dissolved a bit more because the liquid looks cloudier. I'm actually going to leave these in here for much longer to see how much of the PVA can dissolve and whether we can turn it into slime. I'll post the updates onto my YouTube shorts and TikTok, so be sure to follow me there if you want to see it. Now let's check out the hair straightener hack. I bought a bag of alphabet beads which are similar to the ones I saw in a viral TikTok. In the clip, someone placed a row of beads directly onto the heating plate and then rolled them into a ring. They didn't use any baking paper and claimed that it was actually easier this way because the beads didn't slide around. I decided to test this on a really old pair of hair straighteners, so I don't mind if these get ruined. These are so old that they still have a UK plug because I bought them when I was a student in London. First, I'm going to try the typical method of using baking paper. I realized that the packet of bees I ordered had loads of letters missing, which I suppose is what I get for buying cheap supplies from Amazon. It has about 20 M's and S's, but almost no vowels, no L's and no J's. I wanted to write Joanna or Macaroon, but I had to give up because I couldn't find a word that made sense. So in the end, I just went with something random to test out the technique. I found that the easiest way was to place the beads between two sheets of parchment paper and then carefully press everything together. The plastic melted fairly quickly, however the letters started to distort and they don't look as good. It is possible to bend this into a ring shape, but the plastic is very hot, so I feel the whole process just isn't worth the risk. And speaking of risk, now it's time to melt some beads directly onto the heating plate. I was convinced that this is going to burn and stick to the iron, however to my surprise it actually worked pretty well. It turned out just like the baking paper version, but I noticed that the plastic on both is very brittle. Even if you do bend it into a ring, it falls apart extremely easily, so this method is not going to work for jewelry. The heat also melts the ink, so the final result looks pretty bad, and it's not something that anyone would want to wear. Maybe the temperature on my straighteners were too high, but this is definitely a DIY that I would not recommend trying. Last but not least, we've got dishwashing soap slime. I've seen many versions of this recipe that also claim to work with shower gel, shampoo, or conditioner. So before we start, we need a quick recap on the chemical composition of slime. Slime is simply a chemical reaction between PVA and borate under alkaline pH conditions. Real slime is not going to stick to your fingers because it consists of chains of plastic polymers. Any mixture that melts or leaves residue on your hands is not slime. Now that we know this, let's finish up the recipe. As you can see, I'm mixing together some dish soap, mouthwash, and salt. Then I left it in the freezer for a few hours. In the viral TikTok video, the mixture has the same color and transparency after it's been frozen. However, in real life, this mixture actually turned opaque and it's definitely nowhere close to slime. I can poke my finger right through the top and the texture reminds me more of frosting. You can't see it on camera, but this was also freezing cold and it was extremely unsatisfying and almost painful to play with. The transparent green color does come back as it warms up, but it still leaves a ton of soap residue on your hands. So the urban legend of freezing liquid soap and salt to make slime is definitely fake. As mentioned earlier, none of the ingredients in this recipe contain PVA or borate, so there's no chance that the final result is going to produce a slime. The salt part is kind of misleading because many people feel that salt looks similar enough to borax, but they don't work the same way chemically. The only way to activate slime is to use borate found in contact lens solution or eye drops, or by making your own activator using powdered borax. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know below if there are any more DIYs that you want to see debunked. I didn't show the original clips because I didn't want people going back to those accounts to accuse the creators of lying. I think it's just important to question everything you see online and realize that fake content is often there for entertainment. A big thanks to Ava's Manor for sponsoring this video and don't forget you can download Ava's Manor for free using my link below. I finally have YouTube Shorts now, so be sure to subscribe to me if you haven't done so yet. I'll be uploading my vertical content on both Shorts and TikTok from now on. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!